about this year. We have never had to have a full, what's considered a full audit. We've had a, um, uh, just like an overview audit. Well, now we are having to do the full audit, which there's another, you know, to $3,000 increase that we haven't, we have did not get funding from, you know, where our other funding's have. Six hundred in your program right now. Is that Last year we had over six hundred kids. And you've got them right, right now. Our, yes, right now our case were uh, <clears throat> from January to June we've had over three hundred. So now comes second semester and we pick up a few more kids and all that. It'll be again at the Right. You know because of that. So, so when when did you when did you prepare your two thousand and ten budget? Um, <coughs> was it was prepared? I want to say November. When was 2010 budget prepared? In November. November. Yes. Sir. I'm just. I guess I'm wondering why in November. If you knew in November, you were looking at an, almost a twenty thousand dollar deficit. Right. You didn't come until now to ask for money, and and you've actually made almost what thirty five hundred dollars more than what you planned. We were. Planning on some of these other the other funding sources um, that we would receive, and when our the different grants were cut um, by the agency, that's it kind of left us in our auditing really. Yes. Yeah. If they're looking for funding this year, there's really very little we can do as a council for that, and we can consider it for the next year's funding. Right. Something we can do, we move it up. You know, I mean, listen to what discusses now, because usually we have people come in what January, February, to yeah. Yeah. request you in your case, so we can consider it for next year. I mean, there's money there probably to help them out now. If we wanted to get a sequence of what we have planned to do, what we've done, we start doing it well, last year. Request you might be quicker for them. Or do you want to bend a little bit and fund them earlier? Or is it makes it two years out of it that way? Yeah, because they've never been on we they've never been on our funding schedule or come before us. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And have I'm not passing the buck here one bit, it mean to seem that way, but have they presented this to the county as well? We haven't presented it to the county. Yes. That have, have you been to the county? <coughs> Not this. No. But we do receive funds from the county. And we receive $4,800 from them every year. And that helps towards our rent. That they can help pay for our rent. Right. And some of the city money is in the county too, right? Percentage. So we help them there. Maybe not as much as the county's help. Of our money is does go that to the organizations through them. Do you have a waiting list for mentors or a waiting list for mentors? <clears throat> we have a few, but um, as, as soon as we get them, we usually get them matched right away. Um, we have a number of different programs that our mentors can get involved in, so as soon as they come in, we get them into one of them. But we do, we do have a few. Um, mainly, you know, I can't tell you why exactly they're on the waiting list. But we have a few that are are waiting for. Our matching process is such that you can't just have a, somebody cannot just come in and say, "Hey, I want to be a mentor," and we match them with this kid right away. There's a lot of different things involved. You know, um, location or um, what that volunteer is wanting to get involved in in a family, you know, different type of family situations, that type of thing. 
So that's where we do have a couple. But, it, you know, they don't usually stay on the waiting list very long. We find them. Yeah. I mean, but typically when they, they volunteer, I mean, there's, you know, they're volunteering their time and stuff in the finances sometimes to help out with that kind of stuff, right? Um, finances. Financially, I guess maybe they don't. You know, I mean, they're not making money off of that, and yeah. they're yeah. committing, you know, I mean, typically they, they have Maybe I can do a on that. Oh, yeah. 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 I know when we were, uh, said we wanted to be a big brother, big sister, we went through a pretty extensive background check. Um, we met probably a half a dozen times before we were matched. And then we were also, we had meetings with the person we were going to be matched with, their families. It's a pretty extensive background check that you you don't just walk in and say, I want to be a big brother, big sister, the next day you've got somebody. It's pretty, they do a pretty thorough job of the matching. That, why, that is why it's so successful and probably because of the expense too. But uh, it's, it's pretty successful because of the background and everything that big brothers, big sisters goes through for the matches. Yes, the learning center, and and that's for 
the future education of people and, and the better betterment of our community and our people in our community.